Exactly. Seamless so transition. we're going. Yep. And do you even know what spawns the teams have? I have no fucking idea. I'm hoping that Gray on the left and Teppy's on the right, but if it's not, then uh, I'll just reverse it quickly. Yep, Gray on the left, Teppy's on the right. So my team green, Alpha Spawn, Great will be running Yamato, Kremlin, Double Natalie, Double Moskva, Stalingrad, Gearing, and a Z52. Uh, I have an Ohio, a Yamato, a Salem, a Venezia, a Moskva, a Stalingrad, a Gearing, a Z52, and a Vampire too. So, here we go again. See if the vampire is actually doing something. Did you die? Uh, no, I didn't die. <laughs> Wait, oh god, I still have a Vetchkin. Why is a Vetchkin a thing? Why, why, who made a Vetchkin a thing, Granning? <laughs> right, so let's have a look at the initial deployments. Wait, did it? Uh, did, can you not hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, good. You scared me for a second. Right, actually, let's not have a look at the initial deployments yet because we've no one anyway even getting deployed yet. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm flustered, Henning. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, Vampire 2 probably will be heading towards that B cap trying to do the Hydro. So anyway, let's take a look at the initial deployments now when we can actually see where things are going. So, A cap, Yamato, Moskva, Stalingrad heading towards the A cap. Z52 is going to be meeting up with that Vampire 2 in the B cap. Uh, then Napoli, Kremlin, Moskva, and Gearing over at the C cap, along with the second Napoli. So double Napoli push somewhere, perhaps. What have you got? I got a Gearing, Stardom, Yamato going for the A side. That's actually interesting. There's no Des Moines or something that it's gonna go for the One Nine Island. And the Vampire 2 is going for the B cap, and we have Z52 uh, with the Salem, Moskva, Venezia, and Ohio going for C. So pretty heavy on C. I am not sure about the Z on C, honestly. Yeah, me neither. Um, I'm also not sure about the gearing on A, because... Well, it's either I'm not sure about the gearing on it, or the fact that they've sent the Salem to C. Because the gearing-Salem combination would be fine to throw at A cap. But this gearing with nothing to smoke up, kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I would have brought a Shimmer sure. instead. I mean, daring? Mm. Well, Shimmer out... Sh Oh, I don't think Shimmer is really a good play because A is going to be filled with Raiders. Well, Gearing's not a good play either because it's still going to be filled with well, Raiders. Yes, you have but damn. Yeah. I'm actually not sure what this is, uh, is going to be about. Like, the start is actually just going to park at the fire frame. So I guess they're just kite on A here. They just completely give it up. So Z52 is going to so reverse into the big Gearing cup. jobs. But too late because it's already been ticked for two points. That two points could make all the difference. Yeah, points advantage. Game's won, we just have to sit back and relax. Vampire 2 yeah. pops his Hydra, spots Z52. Z52. Stalingrad not... takes a huge chunk. What hit him? Uh... Yamato? Yamato. Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't have that. Oh, Z52, yeah. focus fire comes in. Yeah, he was... Yeah, he did not come in for the item immediately here. Got Hydra and decided to stay. Yeah. You don't want to stay there, Adam. No. But it's a good job that he has disengaged, because otherwise the Z52 could have pushed around and done something about him, because if that ends up in a 1v1 with the Z52 versus the Vampire, my money's on the Vampire. Yes, but there's also a star in there to support, so... There's a star for I'm both teams to support, though. But your star has way less range to actually lead and stuff, so it's gonna deal more damage. Like, way more. Especially since the Yamato is also close and the Moskva is just in there, so... You're just way more likely to survive that. So the Gearing got up the A island with his invisible Des Moines. Yeah, that's kind of interesting because Grey is also not really interested in contesting A at all, so... Funnily enough, the kiting force of Tapis is actually going to get A for free here because they just put a DD here and Grey did not. It's actually like kind of you bad say for kiting Grey. force, it's literally a single ship there. Yeah. It is yeah. appearing completely alone. And it's actually kind of bad bug way, because they are banking on a 10-9 push on CK, but there's like five ships here. Well, I think they were looking to get an early pick on or something with their Z-52, so now they're going to be able to rotate the Stalingrad, Moskva, and Yamato and do a counter push through A, but it's, mm, they're bleeding so many points in the meantime. Look, they're, already, they're down two caps. They're down 130 points already, and we're only like four minutes in. Yeah. And look I mean, at this, Moskva. 
I'm pretty sure that's gonna put like two ships towards A and just get that because it's basically free. Look look at the Moscow, south of C uh nine. What yeah, he's getting farmed. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's gonna pop his radar. He's gonna see what why he's getting farmed. He's gonna see the gearing. Salem's gonna take some shots as well, but the gearing's just gonna wander off of it. And then you've done all this damage to the Moskva. Still shells coming into him. And all of them this Moskva's not gonna survive. No. No, he's not. The thing is, he had to take a much wider spot on that island because he was sharing it with the Salem. The Salem that could have been over at the air cap. The Salem that could have been protecting this gearing who is now being forced out by a Moskva. The gearing lost half his health, apparently, to this Moskva already. And now has to be very careful about these cross Oh, no, they don't have the range. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you don't want to share islands. No. Like, My island. Especially if they're, like, that small. The side direction needs to be careful. I think you can get lobbed here by the Yamato. The northern Moskva as well is also going to be doing the same amount of suffering for Grey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of weird. Double Napoli. He does have less HP spam to worry about now, though. The double Napoli is doing a smoke push down the down the ten lane. Gonna be sharing smoke screens, which is slightly better than sharing islands. Yeah. It actually makes sense. I, I've seen enough TS6 gameplay to know that Huang here is smoking each other up. It, it, get, it takes a lot of coordination. And the front Natalie has been exiting the smoke repeatedly. Though, however, they're going very slowly with the Natalie push. Like, very slowly. You want to be going I mean, they still have four ships in front of them. Yeah, but you want to be just making a jump to the next island, really, don't you? Uh, the next island is not something you want to end up in there. Uh, end up on the mm. like you kind of want to like not commit here just force them away and that's kind of what you want to be settling for actually z52 and vampire are uh yes fighting it out right now yes they are and, the and... vampire 2 has a lot more dpm and single fire top straight up the stern of the z52 what was the bow that was the bow that was the bow that is great uh, this tweet actually favors uh, Tapas though, because who's going to get into B now? Uh, they are going to rotate their gearing over. Hopefully. Sensibly. They're not going to do that anytime soon, because they need, they need the gearing to fend off the Z. Yeah, well, and I think... Z also needs to not eat these tops, please. So, yeah, well, the Z is hydroing, and, you know, Hydro Destroyers never eat torpedoes. For fuck's sake. Quality meme. Uh, Gray needs to still get going at some point. They're up a ship, but they're losing points. Yeah, they're still down 200 points. If it comes to the point where Tapas only needs one cap to win, they're in trouble. Luckily, you have that's a when Tapas that forces can start just running away. And Tavis is actually doing a really good job in, like, binding Gray's forces on the sea cap. Like, Gray does have a sea cap already, so they kind of need to, like, relocate forces. Actually, the uh, same. just took a the massive Salem. hit. Yeah, he got lobbed by the amateur. It was about time. Emato has been parked there for the entire game looking for those salvos. Finally got one. Venom um, is dark now, though. I'm just going to point out that there, there's a red Yamato pushing through the air cap. Yeah. So that's going to yeah. put the Yamato... Oh, gearing gets caught again. Going to be caught by the Z-52. Loses about half, a, a, a couple of thousand health. They need to be careful. There's still a Venezia there. Grace family is pushing into, uh, into the sea cap as well. The Z is actually spotted by Wade, I think. There is not a Venezia. There are the two Napolis there. I said the gear needs to be careful about the Venezia. There isn't a Venezia though. There is? Oh, yeah, there oh is. you mean this gearing? I thought you meant the 10-9 gearing. I, I, I'm I, confused now. It's fine. It's anyway. okay. Quality casas, by the way. Official cast. I haven't seen the Venezia the at all. Weekend. Like you've had the Venezia positioned just out of camera shot for the entire game. Every time I've rotated around, I've missed this Venezia. He's been perfectly hidden. How is you got... How, did you, how long have you been there? <laughs> uh, pretty much the entire time. 
But that is kind of burning a bit. This Yamato is about to make a push around this corner. Yeah, this is gonna get awkward really fast, and I'm not sure who thinks this is the more uh, this is more awkward here. Mosca has guns turned. Yamato and they does see not. the Yamato coming, but uh, Bulvis in his Yamato is not positioned greatly yet. He needs to angle. Salem right. down to 2700 now. in the background as well. Goes down finally to the Moskva. Stalingrad pops his radar. Going to be looking to spot that Yamato and the Moskva for the pushing start. Yamato, Yamato spotted by the Hydro. And this. Oh, and look at this cross talk from the gearing. Yep. Uh, Gray actually put this down into the B cap now and just, just, just flipped it. Makes sense. <laughs> Which is very risky because the start. There's a fucking Yamato coming up behind him. Yamato takes the shot at the Stalingrad. I think the sun is angered enough. Yeah. So not too much damage. Uh, the gearing tops are gonna connect with two. That's Good. also not the end of the world. Uh, Yamato is pushing around the uh, around the corner now. Giving quite a bit of sight here. He needs to like push around completely or not at all. I guess target shouldn't. Now he's actually kind of locked there. He needs to uh, shoot the Stalin and can't really push out anymore because of crossfire problems. He actually finds uh, a set on the Stalin mid now though. Uh, Pepis Ohio took a top on the other side. Yeah, that was and 30, he is beating, yeah, beating HP hard. So this Yamato is now caught in a crossfire between a Yamato and a Stalingrad. He kind of isn't though. Yeah, because the Yamato hasn't pushed around. Yeah. He is burning a double fire, though. I'm more interested to see if the Tapas Ohio can survive this or not. I don't think he can. These Napoli's are way too close. Moscow are going to be popping a radar, going to be catching that Z52, and he's going to be right next to those two Napoli's. However, look at the Napoli's the torpedoes on the Napoli. The Z top, so. You know, two down. Don't be too much. Ohio, yeah, Ohio goes down. down. Z52 now in secondary range of two Napoli's. Yeah, Gwei broke the resistance on the sea camp completely now. Crush shots coming in from Stalingrad. Uh, Gwei's Yamato actually goes down here to Gearing and Stalingrad. He's Stalingrad is gonna die eventually to the Moskva though. Yeah, and this Yamato still hasn't really done much. He's reversed all this way. And... Just, well, you need to go around the corner right, right the fuck now. The problem is, as soon as he's doing that, uh, Grace Moscow's just gonna go into a... Yep, and after, by the time he gets around there, he's gonna have killed the Stalingrad, and he's gonna be able to get the jump on the gearing and take the cap. Yep. So this Yamato is just getting kited hard. This Moscow's doing work. And we see that Grey have taken the points lead back. They are two caps up. Yeah, they're also up three ships. Yeah. About to be four. Yeah. Renita's getting pressure. It's on. It's 75 HP. Boop. The enemy is about to win. We get to have a Vetchkin for the whole cast. It's going to be great heading. You get to listen to a Vetchkin all day. <laughs> oh, God. I know, right? The enemy is yeah, about was, to win. That was really unfortunate from Tepes here. There was a 5v5 on the sea cap, and they just lost without getting anything. Uh, the Venezia is currently making a rhubarb corner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hate that it's actually a term. <laughs> it's fine, it's better than a heading corner, isn't it? So, At least there's no heading maneuver yet. There is, it's called the ram. Yes, but it's called the ram, not the heading maneuver, so I'm fine with it. Well, you know what? I'm going to be calling it for the rest of the day. <laughs> Patent pending heading maneuver. Gearing oh, goes down. Right. Other gearing goes down. The Venezia is going back to the border, but uh, yeah. Yamato still managing to get nowhere near this Moskva. <laughs> it's just, hey, where is everybody? He's never going to get him. Venezia goes down in the corner. Yamato all on his own. Full broadside to a Kremlin and a Moskva. Ow. 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 
Ow. So, do you think the Yamato can get a solo warrior? He is shooting a bow in stardom, and he can't reload before the game takes out. So, I would say no. Solo warrior, then. No. Ow. Ow. There we go. Well, he survived. That's... Yeah. How cool? So, great with a very dominant performance in that map. Uh... Do you want to, like... Talk about that air push and how it wasn't didn't really happen. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> it's like the, the Yamato like just charges up to the air cap. It's like, right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, we're gonna do some damage, I'm gonna get we're gonna go dev strike this mask, I'm gonna go dev strike this Yamato. And he gets to the corner and he's like, ah, eh, no, they can see me. I don't wanna go. <laughs> I mean he can't really push around there. It's uh it's Stalin in the middle, Yamato below, and the Moscow there below as well. Mm. You, you would just die if you actually pushed around. Well, next map is going to be north anyway. Uh, Grey 1 0 in this best of three series. And, uh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I expect. So, the double Napoli seemed to work out quite well. I wasn't expecting it to. I mean, they just got to free farm, right? Yeah, but, like. As far as free farming ships go, um. Wouldn't you rather have, like. I think. I think. A Salem and a Yu Yang would have done more farming than the Napoli. Yeah. A... The thing is, Napoli is very, very tanky, so you're like, unlikely to just get blapped randomly or something like that. As opposed to that's why they went for that. I don't know, it just. It seems a bit odd, because they didn't really seem to do much. Because this is Napoli, they don't really seem to do much. I mean, they got the Salem kill, they got a Moskva kill, they got an Ohio kill. I would say they did a lot. Mm, true. And the thing is, they can push. The, the problem is, uh, they can push up without actual DD support. Because if they get in trouble, they have their own smoke to just turn out and leave. Oh, they can play really aggressively. Okay, fine, you're right. <laughs> Next map, no. <laughs> you have to be right, don't you? Right. Isn't that my job? No, your your job isn't to be right. Your job is to agree with whatever I say and tell me how I'm right. Next. Like, I see your point, it's just... It's just that I'm wrong. You know? Not having to run a smoke bot helps. Eh, I can't... Well, I helps. mean, they had a smoke bot just in case, but... Yeah. They, they have their own smoke... They are their own smoke bot. Two of them yep. sat there in that smoke screen. I was kind of expecting them to do some pushing, though. But they just didn't, so I was kind of like... I just assumed that they didn't do much if they were just sitting there, but no, no. They were actually HE farming. All right. right, I have a question for you. Yes. If you're playing north and you have south spawn, do you say south north or north south? Bravo. <laughs> I would say south spawn or north. But saying spawn is way takes way too much time. Or B-side North. But B-side is like B-cap, isn't it? No. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright. So, um, fuck you. It's fine. Next map is gonna be North. Yes. I already spoiled it. Uh, Gray is gonna be Bravo spawn. Does that mean I have to switch? I didn't even check to see if I had the right spawn for that one. I'm just gonna assume I did. I always have the right way around, don't I? It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? It's not like exactly. I... Yeah. Um. So yeah, this one was keep easy to pick, and then Gray picked the spawn. And we're daring and Nevsky are the bands on this, so <laughs> mm, that doesn't really say much, does it? It just means that nah, you're not gonna have it. Doesn't. Ne like common strat on this is double Nevsky kiting force on the air cap, but. That's not going to happen. Instead, we'll probably just see something generic, like... Marceau plus Minotaur. I don't know. We'll find out. Because the game's about to start. So, did we get the right way of the teams running around? If you selected spawns reverse, probably. So... Uh, is Grey on the left? 
No, TP's on the left. So, spawns reversed. Yeah, magic. Look, no one can tell. TP's, green team, are going to be running Yamato, Kremlin, Des Moines, Hindenburg, Venezia, Moscow, Stalingrad, Gearing Z52. Well, meanwhile, Gray is running Yamato, Kremlin, Des Moines, double Napoli again, Moscow, double Stalin, and a Gearing. Two DDs versus one DD. I want to point out something. Hindenburg. Hindenburg's fallen out of the meta very heavily just because it has no mobility whatsoever. It can't relocate. Uh, do you think that's going to be a problem for it? Uh, yeah, it has two stuns in a must that are usually really stationary, so it's probably going to go ahead and target those. So you're going to expect to see the Hindenburg on the C flank or the A flank? I would say A, but it's weird because I don't... Like, it could be like a Stalin or a Moskva on the 3 line island. Yeah. But it's usually a risky position and I really don't like playing that at all. What's Kremlin's, uh, sorry, what's Hindenburg's pen? Uh, 50 something. Alright, so we'll pen the decks of those Stalingrads and Moskvas. If it takes IFHE, it'll also pen Kremlins, but nobody takes IFHE Hindenburg anymore because it's dumb. Yeah, please don't do that. Alright, uh, let's take a look at these initial deployments. So, over at the ACAP, we are going to see that Hindenburg. He's going to be joined by a Venezia and a Gearing and a Yamato. Stalingrad is going to be doing a full circle. I have no idea whether, I think he might just be sitting there above B cap and start to reverse down. Over at the C cap, we have Zev2, Des Moines, Moskva, and a Kremlin, and your deployments will follow. Yeah, Gray is sending their double Napoli gearing squad towards A again. The Yamato is following straight. What the hell are the Stalins doing? I don't know. It's all of them. Like the green Stalin plus the two red Stalingrads, all of them just heading for the map border. I mean, the Stalins of Gray literally just turned around 180 degrees and are now going I don't know where. The Kremlin is just AFK and spawn or something like that. The Des Moines is sitting behind B and a single Moskva is going towards C. No, the Kremlin's reversing. So, uh... Did yeah. I miss something? And, yeah, you missed the memo that Kremlins go faster in reverse. I don't know, maybe they're afraid of getting caught broadside as they're sailing towards I think A cap? So. I mean, it's actually a very weird threat here because they're not contesting B. And they don't have any radar coverage over the four line gap. So they're gonna they're going really, really safe here. Yeah, but they've already turned back in. Well, but they're a bit further back now when they go to the left side here. I suppose. Which means they are safer. Anyway, that's They're actually sending a lot of stuff to A here on Gray's side. This Kremlin's still reversing. Yeah. What is he actually doing? I think he's trying to get cross shots. It's a Kremlin. Wait, what? Doesn't have that range. I'm... Yeah, I'm a bit surprised about that. Z52, we're going to be reversing into the C cap. And everything else is so far away from any of these objectives. I am very curious as to what the f what, 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 the, what their plan is here. Grey Stalin's are reversing again. What? I have questions. Okay. I suppose maybe they're planning on doing some sort of like three prong push between the gaps between A, B, B itself. Yeah, I think they have like some really weird setup planned here. Like they might be going for like double Stalin, go down four line, Kremlin goes down mid as yeah. soon as like the Napoleons have reached a certain point or something like that. I mean, that's quite scary actually if you consider the double, double Napoleons going up the A. Yeah, I think the Stalin actually want to do that, and they just wanted to wait until they are, like, semi-certain that everything that could spot them on the 4-line is gone already to the 1-2-3 line. And then they go. I think that's, like, the uh, basic idea here, or something like that. Well, Tempest gets C for free, obviously. Has anything been spotted this game yet? I don't think so. All right, I guess we look over the air cap, see what these torpedoes are doing. I don't know what's yep. that smoke screen dropped by the gearing. It's going to be a Venezia and a Hindenburg there, but the, the Hindenburg probably will be running as Hydra. Yeah. Well, Venezia doesn't have Hydra, so they actually have troubles being uh, having top coverage all the time. These torpedoes are looking scary sure by the second. Yeah, I think Venezia is going to eat some. He's going to use one because if you're accelerated, you're going to catch on the bow. He's going to eat two. Oof. Yeah, Venezia has 
a large slip, and Hindenburg actually taking one as well. I don't think that was... Yeah, that was unfortunate. Three torpids? That's a lot of damage. And now, the march of the Stalingrads has commenced. As we predicted, they are going up between that gap between A and B, and they're going to be matched by the Kremlin pushing through B, and they're going to oh, yeah, catch the Napoli and them in a massive crossfire. The, the Hindenburg and the Venezia have already been softened up by those gearing torpedoes. Yeah, the Stalins are not spotted as well. Oh god, this is like the next five head gameplay. Ah, oh, this I, I like this strategy. It's very unique. I haven't seen anything like it before. Or at least... Holy shit! And we're not completely incompetent by actually calling it. Yay! <laughs> we're only partially incompetent. Yep. Oh dear, this is gonna be spicy. I'm wondering when these sounds are actually gonna get spotted here. So the Z52 rotated back from C into B, and um... I'm pretty sure his RPF is like um. Guys? Guys? Why is my RPF pointing towards the far line? Well, nothing's been spotted yet. Now the Kremlin's finally spotted. Uh, one of the silence is spotted now. Uh, face with the and there's the, the shots. Gearing. Okay. The gearing might have to worry about some torpedoes here. Hindenburg, Venezia, both in a hell of a crossfire gearing, trying to dodge these torpedoes. In the meantime, mm, gets his ass around it. gearing does dodge. Um, yeah, Zed needs to leave because oh, the Zed's very fucking dead. <laughs> Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. He's surrounded by Des Moines radar, Stalingrad radar, Stalingrad radar, even the Moscow radar, and the fucking Kremlin point blank. He can use the items as a way to shot block, but he needs to get there ASAP. He's not going to be the only one dead. Look at the Venezia and the Hindenburg as the well. The is actually forced to reverse here because uh, the uh, Tapas Kremlin has clear shots on him. And he's actually really close, so he needs to be really, really fucking careful. I'm not happy about this great Amoin's position anymore. I think he's sorry for now. Uh... Oh, right, that Kremlin. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, mm -hmm, I see. <laughs> I thought he was on this side of the island. He is not. He's on that side of the island. That's dangerous. Uh, Hindenburg, very much suffering. As we said earlier, Hindenburg just doesn't have that ability to escape. It's such a slow ship. And now it's being marched down on by, by the double Napoli double stagger. Gearing takes a toll. Over the air cap, the great the great gearing. Yeah, he needs to be a bit careful to not get spotted immediately. He should turn out and play the bit safer. They got A here. Hindenburg. And they need to work on the B now. Uh, actually, one of Grey Stalins took a massive hit over uh, this island gap. I think the Moscow was able to lob. Uh, in combination with like Hindenburg spam and the Amateur. That's just way, like, quite a bit of damage. You need to actually need to hack these items if you want to not suffer a lot. Z-52 has found the gearing. Uh, which means that the Stalingrads have found the Z-52. Z-52 losing half his health immediately. Hindenburg. Uh, the Hindenburg might go down here. I've been thinking the Hindenburg was about to go down for the last five minutes. He just seems to survive salvo after salvo. He is not spotted anymore. So I guess he just lives. For now. Z-52 is popping up. The Yamato actually clips him. Uh, from where does that sell? 24 kilometers. Okay. Good job. Was well, a good shot. Z-52 is opening up on the star on the crown. Yeah, I'm surprised that a mine is still alive. Because there's a Kremlin like 8 kilometers in front of him. Yeah, that's a thing. This Kremlin is an issue. This is a very broad plan. Uh, the Kremlin's slightly less of an issue now that the Moscow's raining out in EDP and it was broadside. Look at this I map mean, control, though. This is weird. So the Kremlin's trying to go for the gap. He needs to devastate the Simon with the server, though, which he totally can. Well, if like, the guns behave. If you're a green Kremlin or a red Kremlin. Let's find out what color Kremlin he is today. Oh, wait, the Kremlin actually just ignores the Demon here. What? Is he okay, going for the he Kremlin? Doesn't... He's going for the other Kremlin. Uh-oh. That Kremlin is going to be caught full broadside, but he's going to have to be broadside to him to spot it. He can go around, the, uh, around this corner, though. It's at my angle, so he should be fine. Meanwhile, a Grace Kremlin... It's a Kremlin. <laughs> it's a Kremlin. <laughs> Unfortunately, that uh, was not aimed that well. So, Kremlin armor doing its work. 
Uh huh. The most I could poke around the corner though. I don't and... understand this game anymore. Yeah, this is interesting. Stalingrad takes chops... torpedoes, goes down. There's also more torpedoes coming for the other Stalins in the Fallen Gap. Only yep. hitting one though. <laughs> the human shield Stalingrad. Uh, Tempest in Moscow is now poking around the corner, seeing a broadside Kremlin in front of him. The Z-52 is spotted for the millionth time in this game. I have no idea how he's not dead yet. Survival Impact uh, pushing uh, a... Uh, oh. uh, uh, uh. One top. Yeah. Two top. What is happening? Um, a brawl. How is this Z-52 still alive? This is not. This is not supposed to be exciting. Stop it. <laughs> Radar comes out, Z-52 is going to be spotted again. Kremlin about to go down to the other Kremlin. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Final Impact takes him out. He gave yeah. far too much side there. That was oh, a bit over angered. However, yeah, it's it's going to be a trade. Um, meanwhile, on the sea cap, we now have a one-on-one -on -one between Gee. Moskva and Des Moines. And How usually Des Moines wins this convincingly. At the start, I think this Moskva might just go for the ram. It's probably his best option here. They still haven't managed to get this Z-52, though, who's been radared about 10 times. The Des Moines from Grey should probably push up and deal with that Moskva. Yeah, I mean, Grey has a really big advantage here already. Both shit-wise and HP-wise. And also point-wise, actually. And because of the kills. Well, not really. Uh, Cap-wise... This Moskva is not going to survive, so... Well, Mad Mags takes a massive hit from the Des Moines, who is finally advancing. He's also crossfire between the two Stalingrads and the Amato. The Z-52 finally goes down to the millionth oh. radar. I, I, he stuck around far too long there. He was in four radars permanently. Yep. And then that is actually doing a really good job of just creating space here. Like, they're spotted, but they... I kind of don't care. Yeah, it's a Natalie. He could look damaging it. Venezia can't pen that. It's a 60mm icebreaker. Oh, uh, Ma Max taking another picket. I think he's getting shot by the Yamato at this point, yeah. Yep. There goes the radar. That's the I'm going to die radar. Meanwhile, the, the sea cap, the Moskva is going for the ram. I don't think he's going to get there, though. He should be able to get it. I think he will. He well, actually just... Uh, he he actually permed one of the Demine Stewards already, so yeah. But... yeah. Okay, no um, mind. I thought Mags would have had a shot on him. I also thought the Yamato would have had a shot on him. The Yamato has been forced so far back, though. Uh, what is Max doing here? Uh, dying. He's coming out full broadside in front of the Des Moines. I think... And shooting the island. It looks like he's given up here. Yeah. Yeah, understandable. Have a nice day. Certified okay home slice moment. Shout out to Bazinga Flux. <laughs> the enemy is about to win. Yeah, I think in like five minutes I'm gonna get an angry message. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gray is gonna take this out as well. Which means it's going to be another game that ends, like, another match that ends 2-0. Yeah, I'm going to go see if I can find... So, um, that double Stalingrad push worked very fucking well, didn't it? It did. It was a really interesting spread, not gonna lie. <laughs> However, they now gave a strat away. Oh no. They I can die. see a lot of ways to counter that. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> I honestly don't think that uh, Tappers just lost because of the strat. I think they had plenty of counterplay. It just didn't execute it correctly, I would say. They also got a bit unfortunate here and there, but I... Yeah. Right. In the end, the execution from Grey was 
just on point. All right, so... I have a game for us. It's fine. <laughs> nice. That went out. Fly. Boom. Winner scene. Congratulations to Gray. They went 2 0 in this group. And next room that we are joining is Master Joris. Surya okay. versus Karma. Which Surya? Suri 4. Versus Karma. Do we know maps or something like that? I'll, I'll find out in a minute. I'm still drawing the training room. This is uh, going to be game 3, I think. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. Surrey 4 versus Karma. Let's get this all plugged in for you. 